Hallelujah. The word the Lord gave me for this season, and, and if you come to our church, you know I've been preaching this, is that we are a people of war. And God is raising up an army. And I want to read a scripture out of Exodus chapter 1. And I feel like this is what's happened to our country, our state, to us individually. And in Exodus uh, chapter 1, 9, 10, it says that, um, Behold, the people are too many and too mighty for us. And they are greatly outnumbered. We are greatly outnumbered. This is Pharaoh speaking, all right? This is the demonic speaking to the church at large, saying they're great and they're getting too mighty and too outnumbered. So we need to do something to shift them. And so it says here, come let us deal shrewdly so that they will not, uh, I can't even understand my handwriting, multiply in the event of war. Join our enemies and fight against us. So here's the deal. This is what the enemy has done to the church at large. He's tried to neutralize us, try to get us weak and straddle the fence. But the Lord says no in this season. He is raising up his army. We are a, a people of war. The Bible says that one of the names of God is that he is a man of war. Amen? So today we're going to decree that we're going to break off any wimpy spirit. We're going to break off that lying spirit that says that you are not able to possess your land, that you're not able to possess your territory, because that we have the DNA of Christ within us. And he's a warrior. Amen? So I've been in the book of Joshua. And so I'm going to release some declarations here about, uh, from what he showed me. First of all, if you think about it, Joshua was a former slave. And so here we're talking about freedom and breaking out of slavery mentality, limiting mindsets that have held us back. And God says, enough. We have to allow the word to have the final say. So we need to decree that we are people of vision. Come on, stand up. Just decree with me right now that I am a person who has vision. I have bold faith. I have a renewed passion. And the zeal of the Lord has consumed me. Hallelujah. That's who we are. Come on, let's just pray in the spirit. Hey, hey. God is breaking us out of a slavery mentality. He's calling us to be courageous warriors. Come on, decree. I am a courageous warrior. I will not back down. In Jesus' name. And I decree that we are the uh, ecclesia and we will have courage and we will conquer. Come on. I decree we are the ecclesia. I have courage and I will conquer in Jesus' name. See, that's who we are. That's who we are. I tell you, when I was reading through the book, you can sit. When I was reading through the book of Joshua, it was like I felt like I had a, an engine inside of me, like revving up, vroom, vroom, you know. And that's what God's doing in this season. We have a new mantle, a mantle of war that God is releasing upon us. And he's saying, come on, recognize in this era of pay, 10-year season of pay, that we shall decree that thing. And it shall be established, not might be established. It shall be. See, we have that expectation of the breaker, and we have the breaker within us. And, and so we have got to get it because we have got, we cannot move on in this season not knowing our destiny, not knowing our purpose and who we are. Right? We are sons and we are daughters. And, and he said to me, it's limitless. We're going to experience the wonders of God. That's what this whole book's about. In Ecclesiastes, it says, there, there, we are in a time, there's a time for war and a time for peace. But we are in war. And in and and that Joshua, in the book of Joshua, they were dealing with the Canaanites. What's the Canaanites represent? Perversion. Child sacrifice. Abortion. All types of perversion. And idolatry. And the Lord said to him, he was a slave. Remember, he came out of slavery. You may have felt like you've been in prison, and we heard some of these words, but God says, listen, I've given you the DNA, I've given you the anointing, I've given you the oil, I've given you the grain, I've given you the provision, stop trying to figure it out. And so, Lord, we just decree today that we will yield and surrender to you and do it your way. Father, we break off mindsets that try to understand you. We can't understand God. And Joshua 1, 7, and listen to this in the Passion, and I'm going to read it quick. It says, be strong and courageous. Whew, just that alone. Be strong. Be courageous. Be faithful to obey all the teaching that my servant Moses commanded you to do. Do not deviate from him to the left nor to the right. 
so that you will have overwhelming success. See, that's who God wants us to be, a people of overwhelming success. And it says here, in everything you undertake, recite the scroll, meditate on the word day and night. It says constantly, contemplate constantly. Be careful to follow every word it contains. Then you will enjoy incredible prosperity and success. And I repeat, be strong and great and brave. Don't yield to fear. Don't be discouraged. Don't yield. Listen, this pandemic of fear that has tried to take people out, we say no to it. Come on, let's stand up. Let's, let's war over this thinking spirit that has tried to take us out. This spirit of fear and logical, oh, we're going to use wisdom. We're going to use wisdom. Baloney, that's fear. I'm not saying to be precautious, to not take precaution, but there's been that twisting and perversion of understanding regarding fear, right? So, Lord, we just rebuke a spirit of fear. I take authority over a spirit of fear right now. All fear and anxiety, we bind you, and we render you ineffective and powerless. We cut you off. We speak to the root system, and we say, dry up. Dry up in Jesus' name. We break off generational curses that have been in our family of fear, anxiety, you know, all kinds of uh, and panic attacks. We say no to you, and you will not rule us. We reject this assignment of the enemy that has come against us to take us out of fear. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of sound mind. Amen. Say it again. Come on. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of sound mind. Amen. So what happened here, Jesus, the Lord instructed Moses. And here's what I'm going to tell you. He said, you know, they had to consecrate themselves before they moved. But he said, pack your bags. Get ready and pack your bags. Come on, we need to pack our bags, leave the old behind us, and move forward. Come on, get out of the old. Cut your losses. Consider not the former things of old. Amen? God is saying he's stirring up a people of war. You say, but that's not my personality. It has nothing to do with personality. It's your belief system. Right? So, you know, he instructed him. He said, for in three days you're crossing over. But what did he say? Sanctify yourself. Circumcise your heart. Come on, we heard about pride. We heard about the attitudes, or as my mother would say, the attitude. You know, your attitude, she was from Italy. She, she would tell me, go read your book, your attitude stinks. So, you know, when we have our moments where our attitude stinks, we have to understand that we have to walk in the humility of Christ, which we heard about, right? And so, I mean, more than ever, the Lord, I dream about this daily, about him talking about, you know, being a warrior, I had a word in, in prayer about it being a war horse, and that war horse carried the weaponry of, of uh, you know, the army and what they were to do, but we are carrying the weaponry, the army of God. That's who we are, the warring aspect of the power of the blood and knowing that when we are speaking, do you understand right now, picture in your mind, when you're decreeing something, it's literally shattering things in the realm of the spirit. It's happening. It's happening. I'm telling you, it works. So God has given us the ability to possess our land. It's time. What's your land? It's whatever it is you need to possess. It's my land here. Okay? So war is coming, and we have to be willing to fight. That's just the bottom line. We have to know how to fight. Period. And so I decree today that we are valiant warriors, oh God. We are ready, and we are armed for battle. See, this isn't just some hype that I'm trying to tell you. I'm telling you, this is who we are. For those of us, I see Lenny Hernandez back there. For those of us who were raised up in the, in, the, in the neighborhood, where we would get our behinds kicked every day if we didn't know how to fight. And even though your knees may have been knocking, you had to stand strong and look them in the eye, eyeball to eyeball, and say, I'm not backing down. Because either way, they try to come and beat you up anyway. So you had to stand firm. You're not beating me up, you know? And so... We are, uh, you know, we have to learn that we have to be obedient to God's strategies. We heard about strategies. And in this place, as we are waiting upon the Lord, face to face, there's intimacy. Before Elijah called the fire down, he built his altar. And so that's what the Lord is saying to us, call your altar. Get in that place of intimacy. Wait upon the Lord. Listen, renew, renew that, that uh, passion. Don't just think because I know this, it's familiar, that you're not doing what you need to do. You know what I'm saying? Because for those who are saved a long time, you can get pretty familiar with a lot of stuff, right? 
So God is saying to us, be obedient to God's strategy, be prepared for battle, and unity. If the enemy has done anything, it's to cause disunity. Right. Who's vaccinated? Who's not? Who's wearing a mask? Who's not? Family members don't allow family members, come on, to come over because you're vaccinated or you're not vaccinated. We are the church. We need to unite. And so, Lord, I decree and declare there will be a unity because the enemy knows if he causes division, it brings, you know, um, uh, laxity in the church and, and weakness. So, Lord, we decree in Jesus' name that we are a people on a united front, not pointing fingers, looking to tear each other down and take people out. Amen? So, God, we just thank you. Father, we are determined and we are conquering, conquering people. Listen to this in Joshua 2.9. Everyone, this is what I want, uh, this is what I believe the Lord told me for, our, for this season. That when um, jo Joshua connected with Rahab, they said that, she said, listen, everyone is absolutely paralyzed with fear because of you. Is that what the world's saying when they see us? We heard of the miracles that accompany you and how Yahweh dried up the waters in the Red Sea. What are they hearing when they hear of the church at large? What are they hearing when you left Egypt? We heard how you utterly annihilated the Amorite kings and their kingdoms. As soon as we heard it, our hearts melted with fear. And, you were left, and we were left with no courage around us, among us rather, because of you. Because your God, here's the thing. They said, this is what they said, because Yahweh, your God, is the true God who rules in heaven and earth. Please swear to me that you'll show kindness to my family. See, this is who God is raising us up to be, where the people at large are saying, oh my God, our hearts are melted with fear because of who your God is and because of who you're serving. See, that's what God is saying. Come on, we need to be that light shining in the darkness where we, we, we really believe the word. And we are demonstrating the wonders, the signs and wonders and miracles of God. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. So God is saying to us, this is what I'm sanctifying my church. This is what I'm causing shift to occur in my people. And so, and, and then it says that, that they, there was war. It was war. And when you read through uh, Joshua, it's, there was war. And then there was wonders and miracles. So as we war, decree, I will war. I will experience miracles signs and wonders it's time that we stop just listening and not doing i will be a people of action hallelujah come on let's just pray in the spirit Lord, I decree that we are an army. We are a people armed and ready, and we are equipped. And so, Lord, I loose that military, that militant anointing. Lord, you said that we are the army of God. And, Father, I decree and declare in Jesus' name the mantle of warring is released over his body right now. In Jesus' name, we will no longer straddle the fence. I decree that we will be hot with the zeal of the Lord in Jesus' name. Father, we, we repent where we have compromised your word, where we have had more fear of man than fear of God. And Lord, we loose the fear of the Lord in this house, in this region, over our state. We decree a shift, a turnaround, Lord, as we war and decree, as we legislate, as we legislate in the heavens, hear what I'm saying. We have to learn that we have the authority to legislate to cause breakthrough. And so, Lord, we just thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.